Falcon Heavy is coming at you. Coming at you! <laughs> and Starship is go for liftoff. I'm on Burgundy. And this is SpaceX in the news. As you know, last week Starship 24 was stacked on Booster 7 for its upcoming maiden flight. And SpaceX reported that the rocket was to conduct a wet dress rehearsal this week. But after performing a flight readiness review over the weekend, it was determined the WDR would be skipped. And so road closures for said rehearsal were canceled and Starship was briefly destacked on Wednesday for the arming of its flight termination system, and then immediately made it once again. SpaceX is now targeting Monday, April 17th for liftoff with backup dates following. However, still pending FAA approval. Rumor has it it will be granted today, but take a rumor for what it's worth. While you're here, scroll down and check the pinned comment because if I hear something, I'll post it. The company has posted a page for the flight test at SpaceX.com, which provides details of the flight profile just like any Falcon launch. 55 seconds after liftoff, the biggest rocket in history will hit Max-Q, which is on average about 10 seconds faster than Falcon 9. Elon said a while back that viewers will be surprised how quickly the gigantic boom stick will leave the pad. And the first stage will burn those 33 Raptor engines for about another two minutes before switching off, allowing the upper stage Starship to separate and ignite its own engines, which will burn for about six and a half minutes to reach a trajectory just shy of orbit so it can splash down near Hawaii. But before that, B-7 will perform its own boost back burn toward the Texas coast, descend through the atmosphere like a Falcon booster, except lacking a re-entry burn, light up for a landing burn and make a controlled splash in the Gulf. An hour and nine minutes later, Starship will make its own belly first entry into Earth's atmosphere, using its fins to free fall belly down to the water, much like what we saw during previous suborbital flights. But interestingly enough, while there's a landing burn shown for the booster on both the timeline and the diagram they provide, missing is a landing burn for Starship. So SpaceX is no longer planning on splashing down S-24 in a controlled manner, at least not Raptor controlled. Instead, she'll end her mission with the world's greatest belly flop. If you're new and all this is news to you, allow me to explain that Starship and Super Heavy is a fully reusable transportation system designed to carry both crew and cargo to the moon and eventually Mars and beyond. This mission serves as a huge leap forward to achieving that purpose. Success or failure doesn't really matter in a physical sense. In SpaceX's own words, success will be measured by how much we can learn, which will inform and improve the probability of success in the future as SpaceX rapidly advances development of Starship. The official live stream of the event will begin about 45 minutes prior to T-0 on Monday morning as of the recording of this video. But keep in mind, tests like these are extremely dynamic and susceptible to change. Despite my invitation from SpaceX, I have decided not to go because, well, for one, they haven't gotten approval yet. But more importantly, and feel free to hate me in the comments, my prediction is that it will take three attempts to launch this complicated beast of a machine. Go ahead and write this down so you can rub it in my face when I'm proven wrong. Kevin predicts a scrub before T minus one minute on this first attempt, a scrub after T minus 30 seconds on the second attempt, and a successful clearance off the pad on attempt number three. The thing is, if I'm wrong and Starship lifts off on this first attempt, I can simply go to the next Starship launch. Unless of course the country and the entire world implodes before then, which is a strong possibility. But if I'm right, I'd save myself about two grand in traveling expensive in Biden's America. So I will be streaming this first countdown attempt live for Rumble. You can use the channel link in the description below to join me. Last night, SpaceX attempted to launch Falcon 9 for their not sixth or eighth transporter mission, but scrubbed it around T minus 30 seconds. Um, a manual hold was called um, due to weather constraints. They'll make another go at it tonight. The next Falcon mission is a Falcon Heavy launching from Florida as early as Tuesday evening. However, there is some sad news. News is saying, okay. The bus sized broadband satellite, along with a couple other payloads under the fairing, is heavy enough to require all three first stage boosters to be expended, so you won't get to see that sweet side of a twin booster landing. Well, that's all for today. Have a nominal weekend, and until liftoff, Godspeed.